Modern Problems in Forge of Empires. Many players are facing problems in the modern era that they haven't had before. Some even resign and stop playing the game at least for a while. Suddenly all these habits from previous ages are no longer enough. This already starts a bit in the industrial age, but it is not as visible there as you still can survive by just continuing what you did before. But this behavior becomes a bad disadvantage in the modern era. Those who decided to have two lane roads early often cannot understand the problems I'm currently talking about. In the video I show a city that managed the transition quite well. You can recognize that from the huge stock of supplies. I personally like to have all my production buildings close to each other to collect productions with just one mouse move. Now you can see a city that is completely messed up. On the first view this is not looking so dramatically, but this city has severe problems. In the progressive era, tarmac roads were the first two-lane roads. In this city you can see that they were not used much. As a result, old buildings were kept much longer. But these are not producing enough. Finally, the whole building space is used, you are unable to build more, but you still don't have enough happiness, population, goods and even supplies. The modern era offers the header for this. It is a tiny building which needs small streets only. It can help to add more supplies. But this takes time, therefore we also look for other possibilities to solve the problem. You could conquer provinces offering supplies as a reward, but this will not bring a significant change as this possibility is very limited. Motivate and polish other players so that they return the favor. This often makes people enthusiastic again and increases your supply production by 20%. Motivated production buildings double their output. That helps. Think about adding new friends. Use the global chat for this. You can reduce the production intervals and improve the result by this, but you should expect to get a smaller percentage of your many productions be motivated then. Existing event buildings which produced goods or forge points before temporarily can be used to produce supplies. This is a good idea for a short time to solve a severe problem. Much better results provides the investment of some silver coins for buffs in the tavern. Adding 60% production bonus for 24 hours helps. Also buffs from the inventory do the same. With the added supplies you can build a new residential building. This provides more population so you can build a new production building of the modern era replacing an old one. This again delivers more supplies. This way you can replace buildings one by one. Slowly the city looks different. Also the production grows significantly. This solves one problem, but only one. We still don't have enough space. Looking into your inventory can be very helpful. Event buildings can help a lot in such a situation. The video shows a residential building from the carnival event providing population and happiness. It replaces a residential building from a previous age. And a Montgolfier balloon replaces a very old winter market, completing a quest as a side effect. Finding a renovation kit in your inventory can also be helpful. Apply to a Fauberger shop, it increases supply production and happiness. The pole house and the tree of love 
need a decision, either renovation or better deleting. Using the newly won supplies for the replacement of old residential buildings, you win a lot of space. These buildings do not all require two lane roads. The suburban house of the modern era provides an interesting building type that only needs small streets while adding 1330 population each. This helps during your city redesign but consumes a lot of resources. Therefore, such a reconstruction will take several days. Slowly, day by day, we make progress towards a modern era city. If there is still some space left at a two-lane road, a prefab house can be placed instead of a suburban house. This requires less supplies and provides a little more population. As soon as the old buildings are destroyed, we get space for further development. The small streets were very flexible. They could be adopted easily to every building structure. Two-lane roads are much more inflexible. Also, as they only can start on every second tile. Now many plans have to follow the roads, no longer the streets following the structure. It is very helpful to have some more space. A look on the map tells us if we still can expect expansions for conquering new provinces. You also should leave more space on both sides of two-lane roads, as many new buildings often are much bigger. You should only have a minimum of crossings and bends. These reduce your efficiency significantly. Normally, you only need one crossing. I don't like motels much, but if they are built once, I would not replace them before the postmodern era. In the end, the city looks completely different. More important is that the stock of supplies is growing again. This is very important as buildings and research in the postmodern era need millions of supplies.